Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2007 Gale CTL 60. So this machine would be a, it's the same identical machine as a Takahuchi TL 130. So this is a non-emissions machine. There is 2,004 hours on it. We just did a pretty extensive service, went through, I ordered all the filters from Gale through our local Gale dealer, um, all filters and oils we changed, including the hub oils. Um, there was a rheostat and a fan switch bad we went ahead and replaced. It does have cab heat air, so on the Gale, these had a swing open front door versus the Takuchi had an overhead door, so that was one, one of the only differences I really know of. Uh, it is a two-speed machine. It is cab heat air. The air does work. Um, we went through and checked that stuff. We did put new like fan belts and uh, air conditioning belt on. Um, there was a cab pin missing that we ordered. It's a safety prop pin. We went ahead and did that. Uh, the only negative thing on the machine, it is missing the wiper assembly. I'm not going to replace that. Um, doors complete, all the glasses in the cab. Um, we're going to walk you around the machine, show you everything. The paint is all original, except for we did paint the track frames. But the rest of it's an original machine, and I left it that way. It's just a nice, clean, old, square, straight machine. The fenders aren't bent up up in the front here. Uh, it does have um, matching tracks. They're both uh, 75%, both uh, C-lugs, both matching. We're going to start right back here in the engine compartment. Um, back door is good and straight out of this one dent here in this one louver. I want to show you that. It is dented there and it has one dent right there. I have seen these where they're mangled clear into the condensers. The back pillars are nice and straight on it yet. Um, you know, it was cared for in that aspect. So we're going to open her up here and show you. Um, hydraulic cooler, radiator, the condenser and stuff for the AC and these are down in this pillar. Again, we just did a service on it. All fillers and oils changed. Air, fuel, engine oil, hydraulic. There's a pilot filter down here underneath the cab we did. Um, whatever it called for, we got all those filters right from our local Gale dealer so that it was taken care of. Powered by a Yanmar, 66 horsepower. I do believe that's a 4TNV 98. Uh, four-cylinder diesel engine. Starts runs excellent. There's no abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything of that nature. It is very good and clean down in there. Typical used, you know, typical of a used 2,000-hour machine, but it is in good shape there. Top exhaust, everything there is nice. This was the pin I was just talking about. Uh, we put a new mirror on the back. That mirror was broke. Cylinders are all dry. Tracks match, undercarriage, balance the undercarriage pray 85%, sprockets, rollers, idlers, everything there is nice condition. We did put a brand new CID Extreme 66 inch heavy duty long bottom bucket on it so you can see your cutting edge. It is standard two pin skid loader quick attach. Auxiliary hydraulics up here with case drain. Front step getting in and out of it. it has one little bend right here on that step. Something got caught. But other than that, the boom's not busted or welded. The grab handles on the cab are straight. Grab handles get into the loader straight in a little wee dent right here in this one. Typical Takahuchi, Gale, Mustang, because they were the same machine in this series. Corner of the cab right there, somebody's hit something, and they hit something right across the top. I've seen a bunch of them like that. I have no idea why it happens or how it happens, but it does. Uh, door swings out, gas shock is in good shape, opens right up, and again, the wiring harness and the control is in here, but we do not have the wiper for on the door. Does have that high back seat, there's one small little crack right there in the bottom seat cushion, but other than that, everything here is in good shape. Wool pilot controls in this unit. Does have two speed again, auxiliary hydraulics. Something pretty cool on the Gale. They do not have a foot throttle, it's a hand throttle, but that pedal is actually made for your auxiliary hydraulics. Plus, you can run your auxiliary hydraulics on these two buttons, which is pretty cool. Two speeds here on the back side. Start it there, you can see 2004 hours. The only thing we noticed that's cold here today, like 27 degrees here this morning. Your hydraulic oil temperature light, when it's cold, will come on so the oil warms up. And obviously it is a two-speed machine. There you can see your two-speed light up. You've got your headlights. Over here you're going to have fan rheostat for your heat and air. And then that kicks your compressor in for the air conditioning. 
windows, mirrors, see all the glasses in the cab. I'm sorry, Mom. So you guys that have Takahuchi stuff or have some of these gales, I just had an MTL 316 we sold had like, what was there, 150 or 180 original hours on it. These are good old tough machines, not non-admissions, guys like them. They've been out there for years and they're a proven machine. Uh, you just don't see a lot of them come on the market because guys buy them and they'll run them but they have five or 6,000 hours on them. So uh, I'm gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna run it around, shoot does everything it's supposed to do. And if you got any questions, always give us a call. Here we go. So, you know, the battle right now on finding good pre-ignition stuff is very hard at the moment. Um, and that's going to continue uh, to be that way. Uh, that's nothing that's new. Uh, and again, that's something we've been battling for the last couple years. And it's a thing that will continue to be that way. Um, and I'm just going to show you here. This thing has minimal play in the quick catch, uh, a little bit. It's nothing, nothing worse than I've seen any anything else. But there again, it's a good use machine. There we're in two speed. Disengage the, the um, quick catch for you, show you that that all works.
the other nice thing about these machines is they are not like over complicated with a ton I mean a ton of electronic stuff um, you know it's a basic 12 volt system they have the one dash here uh, this is a machine that you can work on yourself maintain and keep running yourself um, compared to a lot of the newer stuff today where you're having to get um, more and more into the electronic end of this to keep it up and running so all there is to that nice you have your pull down bar releases everything now you see how I'm pulling straight up on the joystick it auto levels the bucket something everybody needs to get used to doing check those bottom pins make sure that they they did 100% engage on to their pilot style control and something I forgot to do the headlights and stuff all work also but once you do catch on to the or their pilot control it's it's smooth it's a nice operating feel once you get used to it so if you're a bigger guy there's a lot of access and it's a big wide roomy cab um, there again, Takahuchi TL-130 guys, you know what this is, TL-230 was the, the newer series. Uh, Yanmar engine in these, again, a great little skid loader, uh, 66 horse, this is going to be comparable to your Bobcat T-190 size machine. Um, these had a great drive motor set up in them, a great undercarriage, uh, very, very good running working machine. And again, it's a nice size little machine, but the biggest thing was you had two speed cab heat air in this one. Um, Yanmar engine, standard two pin skid loader, quick touch. But again, uh, we listed this actually, Matt put it, started putting it on Friday. We hadn't even come up with a price on it yet. Really didn't 100% know where I was at in it till today. You know, we've priced this machine very reasonable, 29.9, and that's going to be the price. Uh, we've already had a slew of people email, 25 cash. Show me a, a freaking rubber track skid loader right there today for $25,000 cash. It's been going through. That's good. It's ready to go to work. It isn't some repainted piece of junk, okay, from an auction. And that, that's just my feeling. It's my opinion. It's how I feel about it. And there's a lot of you guys out there that understand equipment, know equipment. You know what I'm saying is 100% true. So, you know, it's just... That's my little rant on that at the moment. So, but it is a good, good looking, good running working machine, and it's not all messed up. It's not all bent up, twisted up. Uh, other than what we displayed up there in the top of the cab, the rest of the machine is very, very straight. So, if you have any questions, eight one four six five eight three zero six six. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. As always, thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day. <laughs>